Hey folks, it's Fridcar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Train Valley 2. So we get those out. I need 18 of these. I'm actually making more than that, but that's fine. Uh, you're going to go, you are going to go that way and that way and that way. And I'm going to dispatch a train load of those. And then I'm also going to dispatch a train load of polymers to go up to that one as well. So everything is going up that way. I'm just going to pause you. Send more workers out. Just going to pause that one a second. That one can go on. And then you can go. You're going to get round all right. Hmm. Yes, you will go through just fine. That one's going to straighten up and I'm going to send some workers into that one. I'm actually going to send a double lot of workers up that way. And... Off you go. So I got seven wire up there. I can bring down to this one. Those workers are going up into that one up there. I've got more polymers I'm going to bring out. And they're going to go up to that one. And I'm going to follow that on with some workers from here. And those workers are going to go straight into there. Um... Just slow that down a minute. Just like that. Right, off you go. You can go into there. I'll send another lot of those out. And then this side doesn't... Actually, that side can have some workers. I'll send that one out there. And you go that way. So i got workers going into there. And a train load of sand going into there. And I'll dispatch another train load of polymers. They can go into there as well. Oh, uh, no! I just lost. After all that, I went and lost a star, but sent it the wrong way. I spent all that time messing around. Over. I still haven't done this yet. But my theory is that this, this is the only way to do it. Is that we've got to get these 18 chips in here. We've got 14 of them being made down here. So I'll send you up through. i got more scholars being done there. You're going to come round and just go straight in through. I need to wait a little while before I can send them in. Um, there's the engineers. They'll be able to come through. Dispatch the next lot of those so they can come into there. There's everything going in. And then you're going to come on round. So there's 14 of those to go in. And then I just need those to go in. I cannot believe I sent that one train the wrong way. Sand up here. All right. And I just paid a little bit more. Can't believe it. Of course I can believe it. At this point in at, at this point in the proceedings, of course I can believe it. This is this is just sort of par for the course. As soon as I start to think I'm doing reasonably well, I take my eye off the ball ever so slightly, and everything goes a little bit wrong for us, doesn't it? Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm, I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will come through this all with flying colours, and there will be nothing to worry about in the long run. Um, it, but it does get frustrating at times, doesn't it? Doesn't it just get a little bit frustrating? Okay, I need to get some more people over there. I definitely need more people over there, and then what I'm also going to want is more of these. I'm going to send one there, and you're going to go down into this one. And then those people there are going up for... Actually, no, we don't want to go to the engineers. We want to go up this way. And... Yeah, you're going to come out now. And you're going to go... Ooh. Well, yeah, you've got to go this way. This is the only way that can go. Right? Those have got to go in here. That's the only possible route that they can take. So there's 56,000 on there. In they go. This better be right. This better be right. Yes, that is right. Okay, so we've got those and then the rest of them right there. They'll be able to run in as well. I'm going to send a full train in, even though we don't technically need to. Um, it's just going to be easier, I think. Uh, you're going to go out. You're going to go that way. And I'm going to dispatch you up there so that we got that one going. You can go. I'm going to send two trains out in quick succession on there. As I'm going to send some workers in there, and I'm going to send some workers up to that one as well. And then I'm going to send some more workers up there, because I think we're going to need... 
quite a few of these because I still need to do those. I've got to get 14 of them. So I've got to make sure I've got like 14 of these down here. And more workers. Still, you're going to go up that way. I've got the copper going up there. So the copper wire. I need 14 copper wire. I've got seven right now. I've got seven of these. Dispatch those there. They come out and they go that way into there. This down here, I don't need to worry about anymore. It's that one up there. I need copper. Oh, wait. I need copper. Okay, so I need lots of copper wire. Send out some more people. Send some more people to go up to that one. They're all going the right way. Right, you here. Yes. Look. I can now make the loop. It's grown. It's come out a little bit. So I can make this loop. That one will go round. That one will come down there. Oh, I can make a loop over this side as well. I can literally, I can just go like this. Look. I can literally just bring it along here. Like this. I can come down there. I can run out here. And I can join into there. What's the benefit of doing that? For goodness sake, Frith. Come on. Right, we'll run down here. No, there's, there's, no, there's, there's no benefit to doing that either. Uh, I've got to build this tunnel. I do have to have that tunnel. I've got half a million, so I can afford the tunnel. you got to go up there like that, and you're going to join into there. And you're going to go onto there. So I can go both ways on that one. And then you are going to go up to there, and you're going to go to there as well. So we've now got the tunnel. Everything is connected in. Apart from that one. That one's 100,000, so that one is going to go out this way. And then it's going to go around here, and it's going to connect into there. And that's going to go across there like that. Right. I've now connected everything else in that needs to be connected in. I need copper wire up there. And I need copper wire there. I need 14 wire. I, I need 28 wire in total. I've got 7. 28 wire is needed and I've got 7. I've got some people going out. I'm going to send out some more people. They are going this way. We're going to have to send out some copper over here. We need some of those. And this is where timing is everything because we don't want them to smash into each other. There is no way we're going we're going we're going to be very lucky, I think, to even achieve a 3-star victory on this little mess up. Um because we have kind of messed things up quite a bit. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There is something that I can do here. I'll switch that one over there and that one over there so I get some power coming in. And you're going up through there. You're going to go up as well. So i got seven up there. And here I've got another 14 going. I would need another load of each up there to finish that. So I'll send in some polymers. You keep them a little bit apart. Right. Uh, switch you over. You go around that way. And you run into here. I'll quickly drop two lots of these in. Like this. Uh, yeah, you're going to have to pause a second. Drop two lots of those in. And then on you go again. So you will go in around there. And then I'll send out another lot of polymers over there. Workforce. I need a workforce going up that way. Right, well that workforce is actually going to go from here. Like that. And that one is going to switch there. That one is going to switch there. And it's going to send people into there. And that one's going to switch there. Right, so there's two lots going up this way. There's one, and there's two. So there's two lots of people going into there. That makes 14. Over this way, I need to switch you and switch you. That stays where it is, and that stays where it is. And I can run those into here. And I will immediately follow that by another group running into there as well. Because I only need 14 of those. And that's the 14. we got them all going in now. And you're going to go this way. And we're going to switch that one over. I've got just a few more bits. So I've got people going in there. 
Another load of people going in there, and then the next load of people will... Actually, I've already got people down here, so I don't need any more of them. i got people up there, I don't need any more of them. Send out that one. You're going to go that way and up round... Oh, wait a minute. How are you going to get out there? How are we going to do this? I've got a bit of a mess of tracks right there, haven't I? The only way I can think of to do this is to really make a mess of tracks. Can't go in that way. Let's come over here and join in there. <laughs> oh, that's brilliant. Right, so we got a bit of a mess of tracks going in, but so long as he gets there, so long as the delivery will get there. So that one's going to come round. It's going to loop there. It's going to loop there. It's going to go up through here. And it's going to go up that one. It's going to turn in there. And it's going to go all the way up into there. That is exactly where it needs to go. Excellent. Right. So I've got everything that I need here. I've got all the people I need over there. I need to send more stuff back that way. Which I will do in a minute. Actually, I'm going to start dispatching. No, not quite yet. We want to just let that fill up. And finally, we're going to have to get the wire all the way back over there. But I want this one done first because I want to start um, getting some... I can start dispatching some people. There. One more there, and we've got some space on that one. So there goes some people. We'll send out some polymers as well immediately along behind them. And I need to send some copper bars back over that way. And that'll be everything that I need up there. And then let's just bring you up to about that point and then let the people go through right on you go again I got them up there you can now come out so oh wait a minute switch that one and you need to switch back that way and come up through and switch that way right you're going to go through and that's going to get the 14 up there. And I'm going to do another one because that's not actually a loop. There's no loops on that, so those can follow each other straight in. There's that one. Switch that one there. You're going up through here and coming down that way, yes. All right, so you're going the right way. I know I've already got the wrong station delivery, but... We may as well make sure that, you know, future deliveries don't go wrong. We can still do this and sort of, you know, pat ourselves on the back for getting most of it. I'm quite happy to pat myself on the back for getting most things right, even if we didn't get all of it right. Uh, send another one of those out. So all I need now is 14 of them, which is going to be one of those deliveries there as soon as this train gets up through. And then I need to get those back to that one. And finally, I need 14 of these to get over to there. So the first one that we're going to do is I'm going to send seven of them out, and they're going to head over that way. So we'll just follow this around, and it's that one that needs to switch. That is the only one that needs to switch. And we'll leave it a little bit of a gap to allow things to go through. And then we will dispatch another one. And this one needs to split off that way and go around here and back into that one. So now you can go dispatch you. And there'll be one more to dispatch after that. This one up here is waiting on this train to arrive. And then that one will be waiting on another train. That one, okay, well, we got 13 people down there. So they've got a minute or two down there. You're coming on round. Yeah, you're going the right way. I was, for a minute there, I thought it was going the wrong direction. But it's not. It's fine. I can send out that next train right there. So you're going to go through here. It's that one that we need to switch. Right there. So that it goes this way. And then it goes around there. That one's got to switch. So it'll go on through. And then it'll go up through to there. So there is all of those. Poetry in motion. They're on their way. Air going to go all the way through. And I'm going to wait for this one to go through, because otherwise we could end up with a collision right on that bit. Uh, no, actually, they've got to come out here. They go around that way, loop back here, along this one where this train is coming through, actually. It's only... I don't need to change anything to send these out. I can dispatch those. That's the one I've got to change. And that one up there. I don't need to change any more. 28 and a half minutes, or you know, 28, no, 29 minutes we're at now. 
There goes another lot of tools, and that's going to be it. That's it. Right. This was not as difficult as I thought. I didn't originally anticipate that that would change the landscape quite so much as we built it. I should have done. I should have seen that coming. Um, the mistake with the station was just that one down there, wasn't it? It was just the sand going into there. Really, really stupid mistake that cost us another star. Overall, though, I think that we did pretty well on this. And I'm reasonably pleased with that. You know, it's a, it's a three star. It's a frustrating three star victory because of the one tiny tiddly little mistake that we made down the bottom. But it's still a three star victory. And I think we can be pleased with that. All things considered. We're getting a somewhat depressing array of threes. We were getting four star victories. Now we're getting a depressing array of three star victories. Mostly brought about by careless mistakes from yours truly. Let's see if we can do a bit better with Hyperloop, number 48. Uh, do not upgrade engines. Do not build more than 215 track tiles. And we have 27 minutes in which to create the Hyperloop. Right. What do we need? We need 14 oil uh, fuel over there. We need 14 tires and 14 cars over here. We need 14 planes. Do not upgrade any engines. And everything is in 14s. Have you noticed this? Everything's in 14s is because, you know... Oh, wait. Upgrade engine speed. 240 cars set. Yeah, that, that would be what we would upgrade it to, isn't it? That one there. Oh, no, just buy a new engine. I'm pretty sure everything is in 6s at the moment. This is a bit disappointing. Everything's in 14s. Uh, but anyway... Uh, Scholars come out on, or engineers, they come out on a timer. In order to get rubber so that we can make these, we need power. Power is over there, which goes out from this one straight into there. Fuel is over there. Fuel is processed with oil and um, more power. Coal comes out of that one and goes up into here to make power. Wait, what? Why can I make power over there and make power over there? What's going to happen with this Hyperloop? Um, I'm making the assumption that something is going to happen with this Hyperloop that's going to stop us from being able to... Oh, wait a minute. Is it just that we're not going to be able to run power through the... Can we not run power through the Hyperloop? Is that what it is? Maybe that's what it is. Um... Right, well, what we'll do is we will start off with this one. We'll run that one into there. And I will go... I'll go that way like that, and I'll run that one into there. So that's all in a straight line. Now they go straight into there. Then I've got this one over here that I can bring out to that Hyperloop. Plus i got that one there. This one here we want to bring over to this way. It's going to go straight and down there. But how do I get it away from here? Like, where's the best... I need tunnels in here. So, uh, no, bridges, sorry. I need bridges across here. And the only other place I can put a bridge is up there, which... I don't think is going to be beneficial. Actually, that might be beneficial. We may need to do that. We may be wanting to put a bridge up there. I've got... That one there, that goes in... Oh, wait. Does it go from there all the way over and come out there? Is that a, is, is that a thing? And then tunnels here. i got one there. I can put one... That's not going to benefit us. That's not going to benefit us. Well, actually... I oh know that one there. That might be what we want to do. We might want to be putting a, a, a bridge through there. A tunnel through... No, actually, no, we don't, do we? We, we want We want to go across here. 22,000 across there. And we can join that one up. And that's going to be getting us some power. And then we're going to be wanting to connect things up over here. Somehow, some way. I'm not quite sure what we're going to do with that. So we need cars. Cars require quite a lot of different materials. And then fuel up there. i got oil down here that I can go and make fuel with. But i got to get it over to there. So how do we do that bit? Now... First up, we're definitely going to want to put that one out that way, like that. 
And we are going to want to do the bridge bit. So we'll put the bridge across there. And we will go from here to that one. And we'll put the bridge out. And then I will go up that way and put that one in there. And then I've got this hyperloop coming out. I'm going to bring you... Out that way. Like that. Except I've run out of money. So you're going to go to there. I can't send anything else out for a minute, so I'll send this one out. I'm going to switch that one over. And we're going to send six people into the oil. And then i got one over there as well. I'll send some people out that way, and we'll send people in there last. So I will send... Six people over this way. So there's seven grand that I got at the moment. I can join that one in in a minute. Switch that one back round and that one will go into there in a sec. Uh, this one here can already go in and join that one. And that one will go out that way as well. Then I'm going to want to put the Hyperloop connection in there. And I'll join that one there. Like that. You're going to come out from there, and you're going to go straight into that one. You over here are going to go into there. And then I'll send another one of those out. They can go into... Actually, no, they're not going to go into that one. I'm going to switch this one over like that. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to switch that one over. So those six people there and the next six people as well... They're going to go into the power station, and this one down here, when we do get six people, they're going to go into there. I'm going to make the assumption that trains going in there will come out of that one. That's the assumption I'm making here. So they will come out up there, which will enable us to start connecting bits into that one. So I will be able to transport some of those straight up there to that one, which I think is a good thing. That, that is one of the things that we would like to be able to do. Let's send some more oil out. I can send two lots of people there into the oil. Um, as soon as I've got some more people there, I will dispatch them. I've got ten people up there. Right, send six people. Yeah, I'll send more. Uh, no, another six can go round to the electricity. And then the next six that are ready, they will go over to this one. I've got six of those ready. So I'm now going to... I'm, I'm making this assumption. This, this is a bit of a, a... You know, possibly I shouldn't be making an assumption. I'm going to take that one over there like that so that I've got that one definitely lined up. This one needs to come over here and join into there. And then what I'm going to do is... I'm going to send out those and you're going to go that way. And we're going to see if I've got this right. This is my assumption, is that it goes down into the ground right there, and it comes out over this side. It's gone into the hyperloop. Yes, it does. It hyperloops. It goes all the way around. Let me just stop you a second. Turn you round, because you went the wrong way. It needs to go that way. Right, now it comes back over here. It doesn't cost us anything to do that, does it? Bring him up there. Turn him round again. Send that one off. And I'll send another six of those off as well. And that one will come out through. And then the next one will come up through as well. Send some of them workers into there. And another lot of workers out from here. They're going to go straight into that one. So you're going to straighten up there and there. And those are going to go into the power station. I've got more steel. I need steel going up that way. Right, so far, so good. But there's no power over here. So running through these Hyperloop things, through that one or through the other one, they're not going to get power. That's why we've got another power station over here. I need to get coal from there up to here. One way or another. So let's just pause a minute. We've got boards down here. I've got workers here that we can work with if we need to. No power coming out through this tunnel. You can see right there. So I've got to get coal up there. So how do I... Actually... There's no way for coal to get up there. Not up that... It's not going up there. 
Bridges? Nope. Tunnels? No again. So how am I to get the track connected up through there? I'm not. I'm not to get that. The only way that we're going to do this is I've got to get car. I've got to. I have got to build a tunnel under here, and then we can run the stuff through that way, and then I'll be able to run the coal from this side. So we'll leave the coal for a minute. We won't worry about that one. I will connect in the rubber down here. That one's one that I do want to build. I can go to. The there and then run up and just do that there we go that's fine we can run that one through and then i can actually i can start sending some people through here so i send some people through there i can start sending them to both of those factories there and we'll also just connect this one up like that so that we're then also able to get some people up here and well i don't know if i need it let's see if we need this tunnel or not because i mean to start with we're coming out here, and we go, and we follow this loop up here. We go up to there, like that, and then join that one in down there. I've got a nice um, jump up through, and I'll join that through. And then what we need to do is we need to find out if we've got power coming out of this end. There's no power requirements here, except for over there. Well, I, I do need to get the fuel over there. I suspect that power isn't going to go through those. I don't think that's going to work. So, ignore the coal for a second. Go out this way. I try not to take down too many of these trees because they are expensive to cut down. But we are going to need to, you know, obviously we need to remove a few of them. And, and I'll go to there like that. Down and connect you in. Right. Let's just press play a minute, and now I've got, nope, okay, so we definitely don't do it like that, that means we do need to put a tunnel through, we can use this one to start with, we can start feeding a, through, a few people through, that sort of thing, but at the moment we, we don't really have anything that we want, now I sent, no I haven't sent any people out yet, I did send some people over to this one, didn't I, I've got some people there, you're gonna dispatch, there and you are going to go through this hyperloop and you're going to go that way down to there to start with so you can go out there you over this side you're going to come out and you're going to go round that way and that way into there so i could get some more of those going and then that one up there is going to go out again, and it's going to go over this side. I'm going to put some more down into that one to start off with. And then we'll worry about getting some more around in a minute. So that one's up to five, so I'm going to switch you back, and six people there. That's going to go over to the power, so we've got some more power. I've already got 12 of those over there. I can't take any more over, but I could do with some of them going that way that way so i send those out that's going to go over there and it's going to go part way but it's not going to go all the way because i haven't actually put the connection up to there yet you, you got you, you're on your way you, you're doing the right thing there so next up i want to go straight off of there like that then i can start angling it bring you down here and I'm going to drop that one into there, and then I'm going to take this one and connect that one into there like that, so that I've got the two of them together. That's everything joined into there. The problem we've got... There's only so long that I can continue working through puzzles at any one time before my brain starts to hurt. So we're going to take a little short break from this. If you've enjoyed the episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.